not number two. We gotta go somewhere first. Go to Song of Songs or Song of Solomon, chapter eight. Song of Solomon, chapter eight, verse six. Some Bibles is called the Song of Song. Some is called Song of Solomon. That's the love chapter, the love book. Some preachers won't even read out of the book of Solomon. It's necessary. I mean, to know if God allowed to be canonized, yes. it's for us. Yes. Now, if you single, I'll be reading it. I'll skip that book. Because it might stir up some passions in you. Verse 6 says, Put me like a seal over your heart, like a seal on your arm, for love is as strong as death. Jealousy is as severe as the grave or sheol. It, its flashes are flashes of fire. Now, what is this saying here in, in the book of Psalms? Close your heart to every love of mine. Hold no one in your arms but me. So if you're going to have a protected marriage, then the person that you are married to, you're going to learn how to close your heart to every love but them and to hold only them in your arms. Not getting much help up in here. It's getting quiet. I say close your heart to everyone but them and hold only them in your arms. Now I'm not talking about you can't hug a brother or sister or hug a family member. I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. Intimacy. That, that co-worker that you just grab and just stand there and hold and just start fat. Uh-uh, no, none of that. None of that. Because you pull them close, they're in your arm, and be, you don't realize it, but there is a transfer taking place. Mm -hmm. There's a transfer of emotions. Mm -hmm. See, people think that soul ties have to be sexual. That's, that's the strongest one, but soul ties are emotional too. Yes. Sometimes you can be so emotionally tied to somebody that, man, they, they just really literally have control over you. Yes. So when you're married, you can't be connected soulishly with people and let them have that much control and influence over your life. That's a place that is reserved for your spouse. Say spouse. Spouse. I got to keep it moving. The second point, maintain your marriage. Say maintain, maintain your, marriage. your marriage. Some people work on their yard and their cars more than their marriage. <laughs> they, they don't make this their marriage. Go to 1 Corinthians chapter 7. Bless you. 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 5. It says, stop depriving one another except by agreement for a time so that you may devote yourselves to prayer and come together again so that Satan will not tempt you because you're of your lack of control. He said, don't. You got the young people, they know. He, he said, don't be cutting sex off from each other. He said, the only reason you should deprive each other is if you set yourself apart to go fast and pray. Yes. Women, you can't just be talking about, well, you ain't getting none because I'm mad. No, he said the only reason you should deprive your loved one, your spouse, is when you have agreed to go into a time of fasting and prayer. And then you might be cutting off. You can't do that. That's witchcraft. Women be giving men eyes. You ain't, you ain't do Okay, you're going to pay for that. That's witchcraft. You don't use that to try to make your husband or your wife do something. You know you ain't getting none all month now. Yeah, that's witchcraft. That's witchcraft. That is a witch in the bedroom. I need to preach a message called there's a witch in the bedroom. <laughs> or a wizard. <laughs> it's a wizard or a witch. You just can't use sex to manipulate people to do what you want them to do. That don't make no sense. Me and Bobby, that pocketbook, that Michael Kors, you know you, you, you're going to be short all month. Witchcraft. So that's the only reason we can be intimate, because I do something for you. Mm, I might need to reevaluate this thing. <laughs> you know, it might be something more, hold on, that you might be revealing your heart. So you can't deprive, you got to maintain your marriage. Say maintain, maintain your marriage. Your marriage. I'm trying to teach you how not to commit adultery. Yes. And you're going to have to spice your marriage up. Yes. Women, take off them granny gowns, please. 
take off them head rags. But he ain't after the rag, no, he not, but he need a vision. See, men are visual creatures. That, I can't get no help. Ain't no, Brother Wesley, you help me out. Can I get an amen? Somebody help me. Men just looking straight ahead, y'all. I'm saying what they want to say. Spice it up, man. Put on a necklace thing. Take your grandmama gown off. In leg warmers in the bed. That man want to see you. He want to see all of that. Oh, God. He don't want to lay down. We look like a runaway slave. Head tied up. He want to he wanna see you. Why am I saying this? Because the sister on the job coming in there looking good. Smelling good. Hair done. Whether it's hers or not. <laughs> no, 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 no. And he gotta he gotta be around that all day and then come home to a runaway slave. <laughs> Twelve years of slave, fifteen years of slave. So you gotta spice it up. Now I'm an equal opportunity distance, so brothers. You gotta take off them holy draws that you done had since you was a teenager. <laughs> And the t-shirt that you've been painting the garage in and talking about, baby, I'm ready. She not. Buy some new underwear, man. Get you some different colors. Get, get you some a variety of colors. She don't want to see your little raggedy fruit of balloon every time. Get you some red and different colors. Get some silk ones. Get you something look like Michael Jackson would wear his Get you some flash ones. Y'all look at me. Look up here. Everybody, don't be looking down. Look up here. And get you some Christian moveset music. Don't, don't, you put, don't bring Luther in your bedroom. Don't bring that spirit in your bedroom. You don't have to go to the world to get no romance. It's, it's, it's good Christian music for couples. Ben Tanker got some awesome jazz songs. Song of Solomon is one of them. He, he got some nice stuff, just sets the mood. Nobody want to be in there getting intimate off Amazing Grace. No. <laughs> Put some Will McDowell in. I like that. I won't go back. That, that ain't no mood set. <laughs> get you some sparkling juice and get your champagne glasses. And If you want a little cheese on the tray, you got to learn how to be Intimate. You gotta be wrong, man. You can't just keep. See, this is the thing. People get bored in their marriage because they don't do anything different. Mm -hmm. That monotony. This is the same thing all the time. You keep doing that after about 15 years, you're gonna be like, man, good And see, that's why the enemy make that outside look so appealing. Yes. That's why the grass look green over there. Yes. Because you won't put no fertilizer down on yours. Yes. You can have the same green.